No sé en dónde. Sí, lo reconozco su mirada, pero no sé. Oh, no Voy sé. a hacer memoria. <risa> Good morning. We're running late, pero eso no es nada nuevo. This is the outfit of the day today. This is my Saturday glam. Here's the thing. I hate the fact that this, I mean, this dress has this like black thing underneath that helps that it won't be so transparent. But I hate that it shows up like randomly. And I am wearing a black tank top because I can't be showing my boobies all the time. And then I do like the fact that it has like a little bit of, you know, fluffity fluff. I am wearing some tights underneath because, you know, big thigh problems. I'm wearing these booties again because they're comfy and I'm going to be on my feet all day. And then I did pair it up with this like silver kind of a belt just to like, I don't know, give it some extra, extra, extra ness. Aquí está Ronaldo y ya me tengo que ir porque se hace tarde. Bye. Well, hello, buenos dias. Time for that morning shot. I'm literally gonna make it a work, at least like the parking structure at 1040. And I've been thinking, well, let me take this shot first. Hold on. That's my car vibrating. All right. I'm learning how to take it like a champ now. Um, tomorrow's Valentine's Day, and I was thinking of, so by the parking structure, there's a Rite Aid. I was thinking about going inside there and seeing if they have anything that's, like, Valentine's Day inspired. Usually they do, but because tomorrow's Valentine's Day, I don't know if, like, they might not have anything. I wanted to get something, like, small, kind of cute for my two girls that work at the front desk. I was just, you know, it just came, it just kind of, I just thought of that while I was driving and singing. I was like, hmm be kind of cute you know just to say like happy valentine's day so i might do that let's see if there's algo. maybe like i said maybe my my friend who does my nails too her mom usually does like um valentine's day inspired things so i know that she had sent me a message but i haven't read it yet she sent me pictures of like things so yesterday when i got home and i was just like chilling my dad came up to me he's all like oh like what should we do for your mom on Sunday? And I was like tripping out because like my parents, they like my mom lives with us, but she has like her separate room. Like my parents are technically divorced, but they're not legally divorced. And um, for him to say that, I was kind of like a little thrown back, but I think that's just his excuse of just wanting to do something together as a family. Like, yeah. So my mom's gonna work, but my dad was thinking that maybe we should have like a little carne asada with some nopalitos, frijoles, everything that my mom likes. I normally don't eat all that extraness. I just usually just eat the carne, the rice, and um, guacamole. That's the, that's typically what I serve myself. Um, but he wants to like go all out, and like my brother has been craving the um, ¿cómo se llama? milk and berries cake from Portals like for weeks. He's been asking me like, when are we gonna get it? We're we gonna get it. And my dad asked me yesterday too. He's like, and we can get the milk and berries cake from Portals. So I was like, all right, well, I'll buy the cake. So in Portos right now, then they don't allow you to like order in advance. You have to order day of. So I know tomorrow's gonna be very busy. So I'm gonna have to call really early in the morning to wake up at 6 a.m. and call and then uh, place an order. So hopefully I get a chance to get the milk and berries cake. But apparently, supposedly, that's what we're gonna do tomorrow. A ver si se hace, cause you know, sometimes we will be waking up in a bad mood and we're not don't want to jinx it but just saying is going that's what's going to happen tomorrow so right now i'm going to work i don't think i'm going to take a lunch because i'm pretty late already to work and i want to leave by like no later than five and it's usually it gets usually on saturdays it gets a little bit slow past like four ish five so i'm going to leave by then i want to come home and i want to uh possibly record a I don't know what's going on here possibly record a tutorial or a tutorial or film a TikTok video that I want to post for tomorrow morning so the best times that I realize that it is to post is in the mornings like during the day sometimes people don't really check their phone so it's like in the mornings or in the evenings what is who's honking relax relax y'all so yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do when I get home. My friend hit me up, um, my friend Lino, he hit me up. He wants to uh, play some Call of Duty. I don't know if I have the game that he's talking about, but I can purchase it, I don't mind. 
but I don't have my own PS4, so I have to borrow it from my brother's, but I don't know if we're going to play tonight or tomorrow. He hasn't confirmed with me, but we shall see what happens. I'm so glad that I'm able to, like, I didn't even ask for permission, to be honest with you. I did not have the conversation with the um, owner to see, like, if I can wear color to work, but I'm, I'm going to start wearing color when I want to. Okay, let me just spice it up a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. I actually got to FaceTime my best friend this morning. It was like freaking 1 a.m. over there for her. While well, it was like 7-ish. Or almost, I think, 8 a.m. here. So I was able to FaceTime her. Do a chit-chat. Chit-chat. Love when I do that. She put me in a good mood, I guess. So thank you. <laughs> I'm hoping all works so that she can come back to the States. That would be great. I really hope so. And this nail is looking a little ratchet because, you know, it popped up yesterday, last night, and I put that glue, but then the glue dries up and it makes it look pretty gross around the nail bed, like the cuticle area. So annoying. Ya me puse crema también and it still looks disgusting. Oh, well. Oh, well. I put a TikTok video up today. Where it's like it says me on Valentine's Day and then it goes con hambre sin plata y con depresión. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> it's a joke, okay? It's a joke. But I'm used to it. Like every year I've always been single on every single holiday. Every single holiday. Me and my best friend were talking because um so we've seen like we call we just say bruja, but like you know, like a fortune teller or whatever. And I asked her about my love life and she said, you have potential, but you just picky as fuck. Every single person. I've been to like three, let's see. I've been to like maybe three people in total that like read your cards or whatever. And they've all said the same thing, that I'm extremely picky, that I'm waiting for Prince Charming. And that that's why I'm single. And I'm like... Pues a quien estoy buscando? ¿Con quien quieres que yo ande? Like last year, you guys... After my whole, after I ended that situation ship, I was like chill for a bit and I decided to get back to like online dating and stuff. And I ended up talking to this guy, but I realized that I wasn't really into him. But my therapist told me like, you never know, like just cause he had asked me to go on a date, like to go eat. And I didn't really want to, but my therapist told me like, just go for it. Like you don't know, things can change when you see in person, maybe you'll vibe differently. And I was like, you know what, you're right, you're right, you're right. So I did, but I wasn't really nervous going there because it's like, in my head, not that I was trying to be negative, but in my head I was already like, I'm not really into this guy in that way, you know? But F it, like I'm gonna give it a try, I'm still gonna try to be open-minded. But I didn't feel it. I didn't. And I felt bad, like I don't want to waste people's time either, you know? But, like I was saying my best friend, I think the reason why, like with my situationship guy, the reason why I was able to go that far with him and like actually, yeah, was because he made me feel comfortable since the beginning. Like we talked and then we got each other's Snapchat and then from there we would talk on the phone, we would FaceTime. So like he, he got to see me real raw with like without makeup on. Like he really got to see me before actually seeing me in person. Does that make sense? So then it makes you feel comfortable enough to be able to meet these people. Um, versus like, you know, with some other people, it's more like you're just chit-chatting, like for example, you're just chit-chatting on Tinder, and then, hey, do you want to hang out? Like, do you want to come over? Like, do you want to go eat? Do you want to get a coffee? And it's just like, Ugh! I feel like all the pressure, like we haven't even been talking for too long. Like, I don't know where your attentions are just yet. Like, I just hate putting myself in, in like awkward situations. I just hate it. But at the end of the day, that's what dating is about. Like, you, I mean, I understand that everybody dates very differently. Some people don't like to waste their time, and that's why they ask you out. And then there's people like me who like to take things a little bit slow, but not, like, too slow. <laughs> it's a complicated situation. I don't know if anybody else is like that. Like, am I crazy? And I know that I'm picky. I know that. I know that. And I wish that I could change that, but at the same time, it's like I feel like... I'm picky for a reason. Oh, my dad is calling me. Why he calling me? Why he calling me? Hold on. Hello? Hey. Mande. 
todas las cajas que están ahí ya no tienen nada adentro? Sí, ya no tienen nada. Ah, pues. Ok, pues, love you. Bye. Bye. So remember I had ordered all this stuff from Amazon for my podcast and I had left those boxes in the living room without opening them and my brother was like, hey, dad said that if you can like open them up and take everything out so that he can throw them away tomorrow. And I said, all right. So I did yesterday while the vlog was processing on my computer, like downloading, I went ahead and took everything out um, so that my dad can throw away the boxes today. Because we had just a lot of boxes. A lot, a lot of boxes. I am 99% sure that I took everything out. But, shoot, I hope that I didn't throw away anything importante. In my next paycheck, probably. Or if I have some money left this time around, I may order a third mic and another stand. So that way I can record with a total of three people. Like tomorrow, I'm supposed to test out and see if I can record. But I mean, I know I could record. I just hope I do it correctly. Record with uh, two people, which is gonna be my brother and I. That's gonna be the first episode. All right, guys, I just parked, so I will talk to you in a little bit. So I ended up actually having a lunch, and I'm having lunch with Sarai. So let me show you what we're eating, and let me introduce you to Sarai. So this is Sarai, she's I'm my beautiful soon. friend. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Um, so we're eating. Yeah, we're good. Si, todo muy bien, gracias. So I got the um, enchiladas. Yo te lo reconozco, yo no sé dónde la vi. En la tele. Ah! <laughs> Tal vez sí, pero no. No. No sé. No sé en dónde. <laughs> sí, lo reconozco su mirada, pero no sé. Oh, no Voy sé. Voy a hacer memoria. <laughs> Anda. Um, we got the guacamole, she got tacos. You know where he reminded me from, maybe? Tinder? <laughs> Girl, oh my god. I... So I'm driving home now. So first of all, I need to discuss this real quick because I'm pretty sure I caught it on camera when I was having lunch with Sarai when one of the waiters, there was like three, maybe four different waiters that overall helped us. But one of them in particular, he was like, you look familiar. I think I caught it on camera. I hope I did. He said, you look familiar. And I said, oh, like, okay. Like, I don't recognize you, you know? So I didn't know what else to say. So I was like, okay. And uh, Sarai being funny was like, oh yeah, maybe from TV. <laughs> um, and I just, you know, I, I was, I wasn't bothered, but then it got me thinking. I'm just trying to figure out like, now you have to tell me from where, you know? But he's like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to figure it out and then I'll tell you. But he never did. So I don't know, but then me as a joke after he stepped away, I told us that I probably from Tinder. <laughs> Maybe I don't know. I don't know. Honestly, I don't know where he could have seen me from. I mean, I always highly doubt that. I mean, I know men watch my my main channel. Is this the right way to go? I know that men. Ooh, you cute or whatever, little nerdy boy. Así me gustan. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Ah, okay. Um, what was I saying? Oh, that I know that like men watch sometimes like my vlogs or my main channel, or they can probably you know follow me on Instagram. So I don't know, maybe from there. I don't know, but that shit made me laugh. It really did. I've been a nerdy boy. Ah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, pero ya me voy yo. I'm just getting nervous. Oh man. Well. Oh well. It was nice to nice to see you. We'll do it again. Excuse me, sir. Forget the paras. Mira. Um. Yeah. So maybe from there, who knows? But that thing made me laugh so hard. Uh, where are we? Where are we going? We're going. Which one? What are we doing? Okay, but yeah, so that happened. Don't really know where he could have known me from, but if you watch the vlogs, what it do? What it do? <laughs> so when I I was being a little curious, Ashley, and uh, I decided to ask one of our stylists. I was like, hey, I have a random question for you. She's like, yeah. I was like, have you ever 
thought about life and question basically if things are real around you not your existence in itself but like somewhat somewhat of it but more like what's around you and then she started asking me a couple questions and then I, and then I noticed that I was getting a little bit emotional about it because this is like me opening up to people right like I'm like in a way it's like I'm letting you in on my thoughts and my situation you know um, but then I got interrupted and I had to do something but then I asked this other person that I feel like has um, like plays a I don't want to say a big role but like I respect him and so I asked him um, I asked him all oh, like when are we leaving today and he's like oh I'm not sure yet and I was like well whenever you have time I have a random question for you so later on he approached me Peloton sorry there's like a van that says Peloton I know that that's from that bicycle thing that people love anyways um, he came up to me and I asked him and then like um, he started talking to me about God and like stuff like that and it was really really nice like I, I, I was like I'm better now I said I haven't had those thoughts in a very I haven't had those thoughts in a while now but I was just curious because I just wanted to like I just wanted to ask people like I feel like almost everyone at a certain time in their life maybe have had those thoughts before and I think that it really affects those who are really deep thinkers so yeah um, but it was nice to just like open up and talk to you know someone other than my therapist or my friends just to ask them like if they've ever felt that way thought, thought about these kind of things so that was nice so I was trying to prepare the email that I was going to send out to my boss but I didn't finish it because I wasn't really in my office today and uh, but I did like start it but I haven't finished it and then I was telling one of my friends about it and she was like suggesting me that it's better that I talk to this and like talk to him about this in person which I do agree but then I feel like I'm not good at talking about this in person I feel like I'm very detailed when it comes to like an email so I've decided that I think I'm gonna send an email but then at the same time like in that email state that I have a meeting scheduled at XYZ time and day to go over everything but at least I was able to express so that he can start thinking so that he can start talking to whoever he needs to talk about to figure this out because I know that if I say it he's gonna say like you know well let me see what I can do I need to talk to so and so and it's like well you have time you have from here to here to talk to so and so so that when we meet you have something that they can offer me or say or whatever right um, but I'll, I kind of wanted to read to you guys right now I'm literally in the freeway I thought it was gonna be like in a red light or something but I wanted to read to you what I started so that you guys can just have an idea but now I'm questioning the way that I started it because my friend told me because I basically put an example that I've sacrificed so much for this job which I have but she says that I shouldn't say that because at the end of the day like you can't blame your job why does it look so like nasty it looks like smudgy is that even a word small like, not smoky but like kind of I don't know okay but she told me that I couldn't say that um, but I said at the same time though like but it's true though I did I did I, for me I feel like that was a slap in my face that was a disrespectful decision that I wasn't allowed to attend my friend's wedding that I was supposed to do makeup for and I didn't get to attend my best friend of 23 years military graduation because of work because we were understaffed so at the end of the day that is a work problem the fact that we were understaffed and that I was not able to go ahead and like be flexible like the job did not allow me to be flexible it was like I always had to work 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 like I that way I felt disrespected and, and taken advantage of you can say so uh, yeah let me see I took a picture of the thing so let me see if I can maybe somewhat read it to you so I put a uh, good evening because I was gonna send in the evening time I'm gonna talk a little bit louder because I know that sometimes you can hear the stuff in the back but I put a uh, I hope you're doing well I've been meaning to have this conversation with you but I'm scared I'm scared that I need to pay attention to bro. but it never seems to be a good time so I have decided to do it over this email 
and that's how I started it. Of course, this is a rough job. This is not finalized whatsoever, okay? So don't come at me. But I said, I have been working at your salon since 2018, and very quickly I was able to, and I'm kind of changing the word because I'm kind of reading it. I was able to grow, I was able to grow due to my worth, my work ethics. I have sacrificed lots of important events in my life due to this job, to name a few, and then it was the, I miss my best friends, I mean I miss my friend's uh, wedding that I was supposed to do her makeup for, and I miss my best friend of 23 years military graduation uh, due to being understaffed and not having, and having to work. I said, um, I enjoy working I enjoy working here through the ups and downs. Our staff has become family for me and our, and I have developed a, a very close relationship with our clients. And then I said, uh, I take pride in my worth ethic and the longevity of every job that I've had because I'm a loyal, hardworking, and dedicated person. And that's where I stopped because I had to go downstairs. But it's still very, very rough draftish. There's still a lot that I need to shake. But it's a start. And again, I know that most likely I will not be able to get a raise. But I need to hear something, like a discussion, whether it be, you know what, I can't afford X, Y, Z, but I can maybe give you Y. And then I can say, okay, I appreciate your honesty, but. I will only accept why if you can guarantee that within six months we can review to make the goal of XYZ and have that in writing because I'm only going to settle for whatever they can offer me if, if within a certain amount of time I am going to get that, that pay. Not three years from now or so, no, that, that's the goal. That is the pay that I'm getting and we're going to revalue when. Because that's what I deserve. Win. And it's not about being money hungry. It's about me trying to survive. And it's not their fault that I'm on debt or whatever. But I need to do what I got to do so I can get myself out of debt. And so I can start succeeding. So please, anybody out there, be very careful with your credit cards. With all those accounts that you need to open and all that. Mm -mm. Relájate. You don't need it, but I get it. You want it, you got it, all right, cool, but también relájate. Okay? Take it slow. Take it slow. I had this random guy send me a thing. Mm. You see, at the same time, I don't feel comfortable enough talking sometimes because then I don't know if these people watch my vlogs and then I don't want them to come at me. But I had someone message me saying something like, they responded to my story and then I just liked, like I just hearted it. And then they messaged me saying something about pathetic IG simp mode activated. And I just didn't really understand. I know simp is kind of like a crush in a way. So like, I don't know. But okay. <laughs> but okay. So yeah, I ended up buying those gifts for my front desk girls. They were very happy. I just you know, wanted to do something nice. Porque salió de mi corazón. De corazón a corazón. Do you guys remember that song? I think it's from um, Las Hermanas or something like that. Las Hermanas J. Just, I don't know. But one of them. It was one of them. Do you guys remember RBD? I used to be obsessed with RBD when they used to be you know, a thing. I remember first seeing it in Mexico because like I told you guys every single like summertime vacation I was always in Mexico like when I say always I literally mean always in Mexico during my summer vacation so during that time I guess RBD was coming so I would always make sure that I would be glued to the TV the cool thing about Mexico is that they always air twice a day novelas like new novelas like let's say Va a salir a las 12 and then again I'll come, I will come on like around 7 p.m. at night or something like that. So like the new, the new, uh, 
with the Carlton to the new season. But the new episode will come up at 12 and it will replay again at 8 for those who worked or whatever they can, they can see it you know so that was pretty cool but i remember watching it and i was so obsessed with it and i remember lucy being obsessed with it too i think jasmine was also obsessed with it too we were the trios and um i remember we went to a concert together to go watch them i even went to go watch them wash them i went to go wash them no i went to go watch them and tijuana también so yeah i was a huge rbd Y soy rebelde. Na 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 na. And I don't remember the lyrics. Da da da. Da. Me dices te quiero con una lágrima de rama. ¿Y es verdad? Da da da. Let me see. Am I gonna get copyrighted if I if I do it? A ver, a ver, a ver. R B D. They have it. A ver. Oh, aquí está. Salvame del olvido. YouTube is like copyright, copy, copyright. You know, I wish to a certain extent, like I understand why copyright is a thing. Pero te troquita y rom y rom y rom 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 así dice mi troquita. Okay, listen. Um, if you guys don't know what that is, you probably you don't watch enough TikToks, but I'm gonna end it real soon because my camera's overheating. I got on the llega. But I understand copyright stuff, but I feel like at the same time se pasa de lanza that people are just trying to have fun. If anything, when people put like TikTok videos, Instagram videos, when you put them on YouTube videos, on you put it on Facebook, I feel like as long as you give credit, like Oh, the, I mean, as long as it's not like a business thing, right? But I feel like I understand the whole business thing. But if it's like a regular person like myself and I'm like jamming out, like, for example, that Cardi B song or whatever, if I'm like feeling it and I'm going to tell you guys, oh my God, like this song is from Cardi B or if I put it in the description box or I put it somewhere in the title of the video, I think that it should be fine. Because at the end of the day, I'm promoting your song so more people can listen to it. You know what I'm saying? I um, fudge it. Buss it. Buss it. I never did that challenge because my knees said no. My knees were like, girl, what? You gonna bust them knees? That's that's what's gonna happen. You can't do that. So that's why I didn't do it. Because I was going, oh, the policia is detrás de mí. Why does this always happen to me? I feel like every single day, bro, it didn't used to be like this, but I feel like every single day, Sale una policía, either behind me, in front of me, me pone nervioso. Ay, 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 ay. I'm just gonna wait till y'all die because not like that. Like, I mean, like the camera to die. Porque si toca la cámara, que no, wouldn't it be considered that I'm distracted? Oh, ya me va a pasar. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna let you go now. Acabo de que sigo la casa. Bye. I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. I got home, my bo my Bob, <laughs> my dad had um, bought some Chinese food, so I ate some of that, I watched some TikTok videos, played with Ronaldo, I filmed a TikTok video that's gonna go live tomorrow, and right now I'm gonna edit you, and upload you, and go to sleep, charge my camera, because I have to wake up at 6 a.m. so that I can go ahead and place my um, cake order on um, 
portals and then I have to uh, and then I'm gonna go to sleep maybe for a little bit longer and then I need to get up because I'm gonna be filming a foundation review tomorrow for my main channel that's gonna go live on Tuesday um, so I'm gonna be doing that and then I need to uh, wash my sheets because I didn't get a chance to do it last time we can we can get some stuff done, <laughs> okay? And I just need to uh, go to bed now. So I hope you're having a beautiful day, a beautiful night, whenever you're watching this. Y si Dios quiere, I will see you mañana. Bye.